In today's video, we're tackling an innovative change to our 5M server, transforming cash and black money into tangible items. This significant evolution in how transactions and money handling are managed within the game promises to enhance realism and immersion. However, such a transformation has far-reaching implications, affecting everything from player interactions to the underlying database. Given the magnitude of this change, I strongly recommend everyone to back up their resource folder before proceeding. This precaution ensures that you have a safe point to return to should you need to revert any changes. To embark on this exciting update for your 5M server, head over to our GitHub page where you can find the necessary package. We've made access easy for you by placing the link right in the video description. Once you arrive at the page, download the package and then proceed to unzip it. Inside, you'll discover all the essential files needed for this enhancement. Copy these files and paste them into the server repository of your choice. To maintain clarity and ease of navigation within your server's file system, it's a good practice to rename each folder, removing the main suffix. This small step helps in keeping your server's directory tidy and organized, setting the stage for a smooth integration of cash and black money as tangible items into your game. Embarking on the integration of black money as a tangible currency within your 5M server is a detailed process that can significantly enhance the server's economy and realism. Following the guidelines provided in the GitHub repository's README, here's a streamlined approach to accomplish this. Configuration in QB Core. Start by visiting the QB Core slash config directory. Locate the section where the currency is defined and paste the code snippets from GitHub. This action integrates black money into your server's economy as an officially recognized currency. Adding items, return to GitHub to acquire the item definitions for cash and black money. Insert these definitions into QB Core shared items.lua. While you have the flexibility to position these items as per your preference, maintaining an organized structure is advisable for easier management and reference. Updating inventory images. The script folder you've downloaded contains images for the new items. Incorporate these images into your inventory system by copying them into inventory slash HTML slash images. This ensures players have a visual representation of cash and black money items within their inventory, enhancing user experience and interaction. In the README folder, you'll find the code snippet for the old inventory system. This video will focus only on the old inventory but an extended video for the new inventory will be uploaded soon. For the old inventory, you can see the code snippet that needs to be added to inventory server main Lua. Start by finding the corresponding section in the server file. Follow along in the video for step-by-step -step instructions. Once you're in the server file, use the shortcut Ctrl plus F to open the search bar and locate the event. Place the code snippet as shown. The second code snippet is a bit longer, so be sure to follow along carefully in the video. The end of the code snippet should include the notification event indicating that you do not have enough items to transfer. Continuing with the integration process, we follow a similar method as before. Begin by copying the first line of the significant code snippet provided in the documentation. This line will be your key to locating the correct section within the server main file of your 5M server's script. Once you've initiated the search within the server main file using the first line of the code as your query, 
Identify the precise location where this large snippet needs to be placed. Pay close attention to both the first and last lines of the snippet to ensure you're integrating it correctly. Given the size and complexity of this snippet, it's crucial to approach this step with care to avoid any confusion and ensure that the code is integrated seamlessly into your server's existing script. After extensive testing and productive discussions, I'm thrilled to announce that RocketNode and Codeine are now official partners. We recognize the critical importance of providing top-tier hosting services to ensure your players enjoy an exceptional 5M experience. RocketNode comes with DDoS protection, 24-7 support, and cloud backups. They offer extremely customizable 5M server hosting, allowing you to create your own server with just one click. Their easy-to-use control panel makes it simple to set up and modify your 5M server. If you're tired of searching for a reliable provider for your community, start building with RocketNode today. Make sure to use the link in the description and get a 25% discount on your server by using the promo code provided below. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to enhance your server with a reliable hosting solution. Make sure to follow the same steps for the next code snippet as well. Use Ctrl plus F to locate the appropriate section in the server file and carefully insert the code as demonstrated in the video. Following this process will ensure that everything is properly integrated and functioning smoothly. Now that we've successfully added cash as an item to the inventory, it's time to make adjustments to the HUD to ensure the display of items works correctly. This step is crucial for making sure the player's cash and other items are properly shown in the HUD during gameplay. Let's dive into the HUD config and make the necessary tweaks to align everything perfectly. Once you've completed these additions, your inventory integration is all set and ready to go. Me. Setting up QB HUD. To ensure the HUD accurately reflects transactions involving black money, start by inserting local black amount equal sign zero into QB HUD slash client, preferably around line 15. Following this, replace existing code with the lines pertaining to the net event found on read.me and go to line 863 in HUD client. Look for a similar code block and paste your copied lines here. Continue this same process with additional README instructions, targeting line 886 for the next event replacement. The next phase involves adjustments in the HUD.html app.js file to complement the server-side changes. Copy another code snippet provided in the README, specifically tailored for this purpose. Integration in app.js. Navigate to HUD.html app.js 
and locate line 622 or the section highlighted in the README. Paste the copied snippet into this file. This integration ensures that the client-side HUD reflects the updates and functions in harmony with the server-side enhancements. For precise copying and pasting instructions, including the exact placement and integration of these snippets, please refer to the tutorial video. This visual guide provides detailed steps and clarifications, ensuring a smooth and accurate update process. Next step is to add code snippet to QB HUD, HTML index TML. Copy the code and paste in line 205. With all the snippets added, we have successfully integrated cache as an item into our server. Now make sure to save all the files you've edited. Remember to add mhcasetem to your server, fg, placing it just after your QB score framework. Once that's done, restart the entire server. Now, if you want to spawn black money as an item, you can use the command set money ID black underscore money amount. Make sure there's an underscore between black and money. You can now easily drop the money without any duplication issues. Additionally, you can safely store the money in apartment stashes, free from duplication problems. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope this tutorial helps you successfully add cache as an item to your server, ensuring smooth gameplay with no duplication issues. If you have any questions or run into any problems, feel free to drop a comment below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with all the latest content. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. I am very happy to announce that Codeine has now crossed 4,200 plus active members making it one of the best 5M developers and server owners hubs. Fueled by this increase in member count, we've added developer AI bots to help fix code snippets for users facing issues. Moreover, users can also create logos for their servers using our logo creating AI bots. With support for all frameworks from thousands of developers, you'll also find all the necessary free items needed to start a simple roleplay server. So what's stopping you from joining? Join now!